Hi Vanessa, thanks for inviting us to your office today. Um, I understand that you've been using Smart Notebook for your teaching and assessment and I wondered if you could explain a little bit about it to me. Yes, certainly. Um, we've got Smart Notebook as a, a tool within most of our teaching spaces where there are smart boards. Um, we use it as a tool to gather ideas together to prepare things ready for a lesson but also to gather ideas and collect um, ideas as we go through a session. Um, one of the great things about that is at the end of a session you can save that notebook, put it onto our VLA and students can pick it up and see the outcomes of discussions and things like that in formats like um, PowerPoint and, and also exported out as PDF files, images and things like that so it makes it quite a universal platform. When we're teaching, we model how we might use this in a classroom as well for our primary and early years trainees. So we might look at different ways of setting out slides, um, different ways of working, so we've got things moving around. So we might actually have our students interactive during the session as well. Um, we have um, then different ideas like how you might use an infinite cloner for giving change and things like that, but lo lots of different ways and how it's just the techniques and the different simple techniques can be used in lots of different ways for teaching. Um, so we, we can also use um, the activity builder, so we've got an activity builder here, so we move the, depending on how we've set up activity builder, with the, the, there's a response when something happens on the slide, so we can again look at lots of different ways to work that. We've got a countdown here, a 10 second countdown, to so looking at different questions, but a simple template that we can change the, the questions, but we're looking at how you might set up a time task in the classroom. Can I ask you, does, this, does each student work separately at their own computer or are they working on the main smart board at the front of the classroom? That would be on the main smart board at the front of the classroom, so we actually model a, um, a standard primary or early years classroom where the, mm -hmm. the boards are accessible to the, the children. When we're, learning this, when we're learning about the skills of um, putting together smart notebook skills, they would be working on their own machine mm -hmm. and looking at um, where all of the different tools are that they, they want to be using to create their own resources, and that's part of the things that we do when we, we're learning about using notebooks. Right. Um, we also look at things like how you might set up a screen like this where we've got infinite cloud notes at the beginning here so children are working with musical ideas and starting to put ideas together where we've got repeating patterns how can we use that to to make our own pattern and, and arrange musical ideas to compose for uh, as part of the music curriculum wow that's really great vanessa so i can see you can the trainee teachers can use it to learn how to use this sort of um teaching environment for their own students yes. but also have the benefit of exporting the files to look back yeah. on the work they've done later. What about for actual benefits of say assessment and feedback to the students themselves? Okay and um, we've got quite a few different ways that we do that. One of the things we use is the Smart Sentio handset in, within Smart Response. So um, we would model how they would use this in the classroom with children. So looking at different kinds of questions, looking at um, very quick getting a picture of who in the class is, is with them um, and getting sort of uh, closed questions, true, false, yes, no, um, simple answers and multiple choice questions. Within that discussion, we'd also look at how you could word a question so it's a more open-ended question, so you can get some um, some more ideas in there. But we also then use this with our students, set questions either as we go or pre-prepared questions to find out where their understanding is within, right. a, ses within a um, session as well. So we use the smart response. Um, some of our students actually also use Smart Notebook as a platform to gather together evidence to provide for things like the teacher standards. Um, it, the fact that they can quickly pull together video, audio, text, links and, and um, images in there, photographs and, and things like that means that they can take this, they can have a notebook and they can share it with their personal tutor for summative interviews so at the end of the course or at the end of a, a particular module they can use this to talk through their evidence. And is this evidence that they've created? evidence that they've gathered and, and saved and right. um, sort of screenshots of work they've done, reflections and that kind of thing and they find it a really useful tool to be able to do that because the fact that you can save all of these different formats together means that it, it's a very flexible tool for them to use to do that and they find it so easy and intuitive to use that there's, there's nothing new to learn, they're already learning that for the teaching. So as well as all the use of teaching, it's an e-portfolio as well? It can be, yes. 
Um, as, as well as that, through the through the lessons, we also have SmartSync, um, the classroom management tool, but it offers so much more just than the, the classroom management. We've got some animals on here today and I can quickly see what everybody's doing. But well, last week we were creating procedures and we were looking at output procedures, procedures for an output. And I could see very quickly in a few seconds that some of the class had decision boxes. And I could see that Tom and Jodie needed some extra help there so I could go and target myself mm -hmm. to, in, into the classroom to where they needed to be. And that's really useful when you might have laptops with the screens facing away from you or a suite where the computers are not facing the board mm -hmm. so that the children are. Um, this becomes part of their routine as soon as our students come in and log in they um, log into the system but then they go and change the connect ID so I know exactly who I've got with me right. which makes it also more personal so I can do feedback as we go I can see Tom's doing a great job today and they know that I can see what mm -hmm. they're doing that I don't have to go around everybody in turn to, to see exactly what it is. The other great thing about this is that it means that you can share a file out, so it, it saves time, saves a lot of time, I can send a file out to everybody, but I can also collect files in, so I can send a file out and then collect one in, so that at any particular time we might have a quick reflection, mm -hmm. send that file in, and I've got a snapshot of what was happening at that point in the lesson, and that I can gauge the understanding of the students who we had with us. It also allows me to broadcast out, so if there's something on the board at the front and I think that somebody might not be able to see that, so we've got some small details here, we've got red wiggly worms and green wiggly worms, I can broadcast this out and everyone can see it on their machine right. so that they get a better idea of what's happening there. And then I can broadcast out the students' machines so that we mm -hmm. can do some peer review as we go. So we can look at how we would work peer review into a session, mm -hmm. but also peer review for them as well. Yes. So Kate's going to tell us all about how she got very spiky teeth on her crocodile. And that, that, the nice thing about that as well is that then that can lead to some peer teaching. So we've got Jodie here who's done a, a procedure to run the, um, the big wheel here. Mm -hmm. And she's got lots of outputs on here. She's turning motors on. So she could talk us through how she went through the problem solving to get to that point. Mm -hmm. But then we could maybe turn it around and challenge together and say, well, how could we put an input in here? What sorts of things might an input into here? So that um, we can get the, this... this the students to then take the lead and start to work with each other and teach yes. each other as well. Um, the one last thing within SmartSync that I really like to use is the questions option. And it is set up so that students can ask you a question right. without actually having to put their hands yes. up in the speaking mm -hmm. class. But we turn it around the other way and ask a question and get us to send the answer in. So again, it's a really great way of gather um, get, gathering understanding yes. of where everybody's at within a session. Right. That's really interesting. Lots and lots of different ways of using it for assessments, I can see. And I like the way that it brings in the ability to have some peer assessment as well. Yes, they really enjoy that. Yes, <laughs> and of course, as trainee teachers, they're going to have that through the whole career, aren't they? Being yeah, peer great assessed. To, be able to model that, yes. <laughs> This looks very interesting. Oh, this is um, some of our students collaborated last year to create a bonfire night resource, doing some graphics work and um, thinking of ideas for literacy and numeracy. And we put it onto the Smart Exchange and we've currently had 71 downloads, so they're very impressed. That's great. Can you just tell me what the Smart Exchange is? It's a smart platform where anyone can sign up for a free account and there's, it's an international sharing platform. Right. There's lots of ideas on there, lots of notebooks, images mm -hmm. and the new widgets as well for Smart Notebook 11. Right. Oh, that's great. So as a smart user, you can go and look at other people's resources as well. Yes. And they've got peer review internationally there with 71 downloads. Great. That's fantastic. Another way of using it for assessments. Yeah. Vanessa, thank you very much. That's been <laughs> really welcome. interesting.